Hey there everybody, this is Devin. I'm with Oello Lighting and today I'll be showing you how to do a retrofit on your existing control unit to upgrade it to the fullest potential of what Oello Evolution can offer. Before you do any wiring whatsoever, you always wanna unplug the box. Now that our box is unplugged, we're gonna go ahead and open our control unit and this is where we're gonna to start to disconnect the wires. Now before you do that, an optional step is to label these. If you, do, if you have several wires or you're just not sure, uh, we do recommend that you label these so that we know exactly where they're gonna go. But the next step, we're gonna disconnect these wires from the PCB. Now that those are all connected, we'll move on to our next step and undo the screws. Now we'll take that out and set it to the side. All right, now we're gonna move to disconnecting the wires that are in this outlet compartment. Set those screws somewhere safe because they will be reused. Now we're gonna find here the blue wire. We're gonna disconnect that. And the brown wire, we're gonna disconnect that. Go ahead and pull those out of that compartment. Okay, now our next step is we're gonna remove this LPV20-5 in here. And to do that, you're gonna put one hand right here and make sure the plate is just held down. We're gonna grab these red and black wires and pull back. Now, so that one came off really easy. There's a, there's a chance that the back panel may stay affixed to this black plate. So don't be afraid to have to use your flathead screwdriver and pry that one off. All right. Now we're getting to the fun part here. We're gonna take our new controller assembly with our new power supply. We're gonna set that somewhere safe so the wires don't hang or dangle on it. We're gonna peel off the double stick tape. And then we're gonna firmly press that down right into the place of the one we just removed. Give it a few pushes and it should stick. From there, we're gonna route now our blue and brown wire back into the outlet compartment. Make sure those wires are nice and, and tidy. We don't want them like a cobweb there. We'll twist them together. The brown is gonna go with the black where we just removed one. And the blue with the white. Now we are ready to go right there. All right, now that we have those wires all in there, we're gonna go ahead and cover that up with our outlet plate. Make sure those holes line up on us. All right, now that that outlet plate is all installed properly, we're gonna go ahead and install the controller. So rotate that around. Be careful not to pull on these wires too much so that they come out. Um, we're gonna set that right in place here. Next, we're gonna plug in that ground wire. So we're gonna take this wire here that's already installed and the wire that was uh, plugged into the ground at the lower right-hand controller of the previous controller, we're gonna plug into this Wago. Now, one thing to watch out for, if this wire is on the shorter side, we're gonna want around, you know, just under a half of an inch of wire there to insert into this connector. So if that's the case, go ahead, strip off just a hair. Now that that's stripped off, we're all clean there. We'll go ahead and insert it into there and ensure that it's a nice snug fit. Now that we have that ground wire firmly attached, we're gonna take our signal wires. On this system, we happen to have two. You may only have one, you could have three or four. But, so here, right here, we have our six available signal outputs. I typically start with the one furthest on the left. I'll take my flathead screwdriver, push this down, insert the wire. Sometimes I give a little bit of tug on it, 
make sure that it's in there nice and tightly. I'll take my next signal, insert, give it a little tug, and away we go. All right, down to our last two steps. Here, we're gonna stick our antenna. This is what's gonna connect to your Wi-Fi network. It has double stick tape on the back. We're gonna carefully unpeel those. Be careful not to over bend it or anything. Uh, just be gentle with it. And there we go. And we're gonna stick that right to the top, right over here. Now that that's in place, we're gonna move on to putting our new instruction sticker right over the top of the old one. All right, now that we've plugged in our control box, here we see it powered on, that red light indicates that we're getting power, and this blue light indicates that it's attempting to connect to Wi-Fi and it's broadcasting that Oello network. So now we're free to move on to the Oello app manual and get your system all set up.